Hi everyone, it's been a while since I've uh, posted any video and uh, I've missed it too. I've just been uh, really busy with, uh, you know, everything that's happening right now in my life. And uh, But I'm glad to be back and I can promise you that I'm going to uh, make more and more videos uh, from this point on for, for everyone, informative videos. I'm really, really glad that, you know, I'm able to help people. Uh, I get uh, plenty of emails every day and I try to help as many people as possible. A lot of people are facing trouble uh, with payment these days with IQAS. I can guarantee you keep trying, it'll happen. They are still pretty packed and, uh, you know, choose electronic uh, transcripts, transmission method over courier, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Those things you can see in my other videos. Today, I'm going to uh, make a video that a lot of people have asked me to make, and I think that it's about time I meet, made it. So, uh, also pardon the background noise that you might hear. Uh, there's lots of background noise uh, in my area, but I'll try to uh, be as clear and loud as possible. So, let's today talk about uh, World Education Services, right? Like, we let's talk about WES today. And uh, I know that a lot of people, you know, uh, talk about WES, uh, uh, they talk about, and they don't know, right? Like they don't know when to go to WES and when not to. So I made a video earlier, you can go back to my channel and you can just check the videos where I have spoken about the degree equivalency tool that uh, exclusively WES has, where you can go and check whether your university or, you know, what will your degree be evaluated as in advance? Uh, it You know, not everybody will get a result, but most of the people get an idea about you know, West. And uh, a very important thing about West is that West does not consider uh, two years masters from India as masters in Canada. They most of them, you know, like 98 percent of our two year master degrees and MBA degrees, etc., are not considered masters according to West in Canada. Uh, it's considered four years bachelor's, which is what happened with my uh, degree as well. And I didn't go for West. I went for IQAS uh, instead, and I got a master's equivalency. So uh, do check out their degree equivalency tool. Check, check out my other video, which has it. Now we'll change the country, obviously, from United States to Canada, because that's the evaluation we want. From here, it's very, very simple. I find the West uh, portal actually extremely simple as compared to every other uh, uh, ECA portal, if you ask me. All you need to do is you go here and you click on get an evaluation, right? Uh, so you, you click on get an evaluation. And, uh, you know, I'm already... Um, no, I already have an account, but I'll still log out and I'll show you how to log in. So if you do not have an account, you you basically click here. Since I already have one, I don't have to click it. I mean, I, I already have my details here. But if you are new to West and you're creating it for the first time, just click here and create your account here. Uh, in fact, how about I create one for you right now? Let's just see if we can. Uh, yeah, let, let me create an account for you. So. Where will you use your evaluation? Obviously, Canada, because uh, that's what uh, my channel is all about. It's called Canada Calling. Uh, do you want it for standard education, employment, etc.? No. Do you want it for Agri-Food Pilot Program? No. I want it for IRCC. So I click here on Start Application. So I go here, and it asks me for, uh, you know, uh, it asks me for an email ID. So let me just use my other email ID. Uh, and click on it that's uh, my 15 month old son's gmail id which i have fake created it's not a great thing but but he wouldn't mind right like i can i can easily uh you know i can uh, use his id so i'm using his id and um uh i've already received a code obviously for security purposes i'm not showing it uh my code is i'm i'm accessing my code through my phone and I've got the code and I'm going to put it here. Uh, you can check out the code, but not that it makes a difference. I submit the code and as I submit it, it shows my verification is complete. So I continue from here and now uh, it'll ask me uh, for my name, etc. right? So let's just put my name. Let me put my second name. In fact, let's just make it Canada and let the last name be calling. And I put my date of birth randomly. Uh, okay. Um, randomly. 
do you have a west reference number no i don't have it this is my email id i'll just uh, use some password a uh, strong password so i'm going to put a password here and i'm going to re-enter the password use a security question um what is my okay where were you born so let me just put this as the answer i was born in a small town called barakpur so uh, would you like to subscribe to newsletters um i mean you can choose to right now i don't want to because i'm already subscribed to it through my other id and that's it you click on create account and there you go your account is created now next is these things are already filled i select my gender um then i select my country code and then i just randomly put a phone number and then click on next right okay thank you sorry about the noise i have a toddler at home so see uh very very easy right like i find west extremely extremely easy because what credentials have you earned it just says rcc applicants to submit only their highest completed credential right and we review the notes so if you have a doctorate right phd we do not um, need to send anything else just the phd if you have a masters degree you do not need to submit your bachelors degree for evaluation unless this is listed listed among your required documents so let's just open my required documents what does it mean so this is very this part is very important so just pay attention i am going to click on required documents it says that masters ke alawa aapko bachelors dalne ki zarurat nahi hai unless it is listed in required documents so i go to required documents and we'll see if we need it right so we go here and we fill in these equivalency here yeah, sorry equivalency country canada applying for rcc yes country or territory i would say india status of your education it's completed type of education university education uh, mine is university education what was it it was a masters or a post graduate diploma i would say guru jambeshwar university of science and technology and my degree was master of arts right so yes master of arts so i click on view requirements and it says click on it yes see now once i put this it is india right like they know so they have said if you have an indian masters degree uh, or an indian post graduate diploma you must also provide your bachelor's degree documents west cannot complete an evaluation without these documents so very very important right uh, if you have a masters degree this is what i was talking about if you have a masters degree from india which is usually 2 years in our case then you need to submit your bachelor's uh, degree documents as well and there are only four exceptions to that only if you have an me degree which is masters of education or emed Uh, if you have a master of engineering if you have a master in philosophy or master of technology only then you do not need to send your bachelor's otherwise any other course uh, that you have done a masters in for 2 years you need to have to must send them your bachelor degrees as well a bachelor's degree as well otherwise you are not going to get a masters equivalency there is no chance okay if you send your bachelor's degree as well then also the chances are slightly bleak but you can give it a shot and if you are absolutely confused and you don't want to take a chance you can go for iqs etc but let me tell you wes is the fastest wes sends your evaluation directly to ircc so there are benefits to it right uh that being said there is no difference like it's it doesn't make a difference whether you get it done by wes or you get it done by iqs iques or bcit or ses or icas for ircc they are all the same so you don't worry about it if you have time in hand then you have your spoiled for choices on in fact you know you can just send wherever you want to right so let's just move on uh, before we go on next we need to add the credential here now that we are done with the you know whatever we need to know right below this very easily add credential and uh, when you click on add credential this comes in right so you have to basically write which territory you from 
so i'm going to say india type of education similar things right university education name of the institute acha which of these apply right masters and masters degree for me now name of the institution has to be the university unless you are from an autonomous college you definitely went to a university so that's going to be uh, what you fill here uh name of the diploma master of arts i just showed you all of this but you just need to fill it one more time first name yes let's just go back to how we and uh calling well this is such a cool name field of study mine is mass comm so i'm just going to fill that in year awarded um 2009 Yeah, I'm old. Years attended, two uh, thousand. So oh shit, no, sorry, sorry, sorry for using the S word. From two thousand nine to eleven, actually. That's it. And I save this, and with just that, that's it. That's all I needed to add. Okay. So if you want your bachelor's also. Like for example, let me just show you because I'm sending my masters. I'll also send my bachelor's, right, as instructed by them. So I'll add that credential. I'll again put my type of education. Um, uh, which of these apply? Bachelor's, name of the institution. I've I've done it from the same university. So I'm just going to put the name again. Uh, name. Uh, oh no, what are they asking? Name of diploma. Okay, okay. Bachelor. Uh, in arts that's it uh name canada last name calling and a uh, field of study again mascom have been really focused that's what it means uh, this uh, was 2009 which i got confused with please don't get confused with that uh 2006 to 2009 and done and that's it so once you're done adding your credentials your eca report will not contain the following anything below secondary school fine such as primary or elementary school non academic credentials such as i've done microsoft office training etc won't won't happen professional or career training qualifications uh, which is also called the skill programs etc that won't come like vocational etc so next add your address so let's add my mailing address here um let's have fun here country is india po box is um i got 11045 i don't know what that means city is new delhi state delhi okay same thing just filling delivery method so you can choose either international courier uh, or you can use the international courier is basically your, your you know fedex etc that have faster service you could use that or you could just use the standard canada post mail which is not as bad guys because i'll tell you why you should go for this 10 dollar option instead of 85 because your hard copy you you'll you'll not probably need your hard copy you know you'll probably not need it you'll uh probably kya matlab if i i were to be honest with you you'll not need it at all uh because what matters is uh, your soft copy which by the way west will be sending to ircc directly anyway this is just for your record right so you keep it so i would say that doesn't matter it'll it'll be a little slow it'll arrive a little slow but that doesn't matter so uh, save save the money go for the 10 dollar option when you save it right so this is done uh okay so this is like who's receiving my report right first of course i am receiving it and ircc is receiving it they send it it's default you can add other places where you want it to go like you know some some people want their uh, reports to be delivered to some university some college etc where they want to study so they add those recipients as well or somebody some, a friend of yours or family or something you know you can do that as well we then go to uh 
but uh, just just going back i'm sorry i can't send it to the family actually sorry sorry about that it's incorrect information i apologize for that i got carried away uh, there are some uh, lists of places that you can send like educate you know like educational institutions etc you can check the list it's there actually there you can just check that and after everything so ec report to you on a pdf they'll be accessible by ircc uh, official paper report will be sent to you and electronic storage of your report verified for future use you know they'll keep it for future use all of that included your price is 220 dollars so they don't charge for multiple degrees right so which is very nice uh, i think west and iqas are the only two that don't and icas these are these are the three bodies that do not charge you extra for every degree but uh cess and uh, ICES or BCIT, they uh, charge uh, extra for each credential. So from here, you click on next. And when you click on next, that's it. This is basically your checklist. So all documents must be sent, right? What are they saying is upon receipt and review of your credentials, West may require additional documentation. If so, we will contact you. So for this, what you need is you know you've already written to them you know, about your this thing about what degree it is what you will need right you will need the degree uh you can uh, this is a photocopy of your final or provisional degree certificate which you can upload a clear legible copy of this de degree uh on you know you go to my document and you can upload it there it's very simple you know it'll open and you can just you can upload it here right uh then statement of your marks or you know official documents attested so how this happens is that uh, uh, these are basically your transcripts yeah so for you need to uh, ask your uh, university to send the transcripts to uh, wes okay in a sealed envelope now here's the trick what you can do, you know, some some universities like Delhi University, Calcutta University, they don't send your transcripts directly to us. So what you can do is you can go and from the universe, you can go to the university, collect your transcripts in a sealed envelope and you can uh, courier them from the university's uh, post office. Right. It's very easy from that postal code. You send it and that's good enough. Uh, what you need to do. Uh, just one second. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you need to send uh, you need to basically send your transcripts, right? Uh, now, here's the thing. And this is a this is an interesting development. OK, if the institution gives you the document and sent to us. It must be in a sealed envelope. The envelope, envelope is open. Sorry. The envelope is open or if there is no stamp or signature across the back flap. West cannot accept the document. Yeah. So if the institution gives you the document, you can send it to West. This is a new development. This wasn't there earlier. You can do it, but I would still suggest that you do it from the university post office. Uh, you know, it is uh, always advised. However, as, as you can see, I think they have started this. It's a new thing. It didn't exist earlier. You couldn't actually send it, right? You couldn't actually send uh, it yourself. But looks like now you can, which is great, you know. Uh, and then uh, how do you do that? You have this academic request form. I'll show you what it looks like. It's pretty standard, like in IQAS or any other, uh, you know, evaluation agency. You get this uh, academic uh, record request form where this bit is filled by you. So you will get the West reference number after you are done making the payment. You'll, you'll get this number that you need to fill here. You need to fill your name, uh, date of birth, email, your institution's name, country, uh, you know, date, from when to when. Now, I'll tell you what does institution name mean here, right? Because you're sending it to your university, you, you have to write your college's name here. Yeah. So a lot of people have asked me this question and I really believe that it should be your... Um, you know your college's name because you're anyway sending it to the university so why would you write the university's name here? then uh your degree's name uh you're uh, awarded uh, what was your major meaning what did you do it in like in my case it'll be master of arts year of award is 2011 and the major is mass com 
then my roll number right if you are and then you put your signature the date and this this bit is filled by wes they sign it stamp it and they put it along with your transcript inside the envelope and then they send it to wes yeah, important thing to note here, if you are asking for two different transcripts, you have to fill two academic request forms. Yeah, so because it's up for, a, you know, you can download as many as you want. So just send two request forms and don't think that one will suffice. Right. Uh, that's about it. How to send your uh, documents include reference number. OK, so this is uh, this bit is important on the on in the you know, inside the envelope, there'll be your transcripts and the academic request form. But on top of it, where you write Wes's address, right on top of it, you have to write the reference number that you will get. Uh, do not send original documents, of course. Do not send them because nobody sends. I mean, you have to be uh, a little um, suboptimal in the head to send original documents to anybody for that matter. So do not uh, send original documents. Your transcripts will be sent, right? So don't worry about it. Ask about sending digital documents. This bit, again, is very, very important. Some universities, I think like Mumbai universities, Mumbai University, etc., they have a, a partnership with West already. So in that case, you may not have to courier it. They can uh, uh, electronically send your transcripts to West. Like West anyway takes like 30 to 35 days for evaluation. If you send it electronically, it will be done in like no time. So I suggest that you do that. If you are, you know, just check, uh, you know, check with your university, call them up and it's their everyday job. One thing that I keep telling people, they're very scared about how to go ahead with transcripts, how to ask the university. Rose ka kaam hai university ke logo ka, unke exam department ka, unke result department ka. It doesn't bother them at all. It is their job. So don't worry about asking questions, calling them uh, and, you know, being absolutely sure about everything. So call them, ask them if they're already, uh, 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 if they already have a partnership with Wes. So the same thing that I explained to you in the master's applies to this as well, as you can see. Same thing. All of this, how to send. This is the address. So just follow this. West reference number, you will receive this number. Uh, I think it's a seven-digit number that you get, uh, uh, a code, like a reference number that you get after you make the payment, after you finish. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. And then uh, this address, right? Just uh, write this on the top of the envelope and you're good to go. Then we go to next. Now that we've understood what to do, uh, this is the final thing they show you. This is the name. You do a final check of everything. See, my master's, fine. The second one is my bachelor's. My evaluation will be done in 35 days. And it will cost me $220. And uh, it will be sent to me via Canada Post. I'm good with that. I authorize ways to verify. I certify that the information I'm submitting is accurate, authentic. I've read everything and I agree to submit all the documents. Then you click on next. And as you do that, they ask you one more time. They ask you to confirm date of birth, name, etc., which is really, really nice. If you ask me, it's like verifying it thrice so you don't make mistakes. Your selection will. Okay, so this is the other thing. It says something called HST, which is a mandatory tax in Canada right it's uh it's like a combination of like you say the federal goods and services tax and provincial sales tax uh now this only applies to people who i think uh are uh you know a resident of canada or you know are you know basically come under that act which we don't so i'm going to click on no and then i'm going to continue i don't have to pay hst and that's it from here you click how you want to pay you know, you want to pay through credit card, debit card, check money order, Western Union online money transfer. Um, and then I think, let me just pick this. Let me take you to the next stage as well, if it helps. And, you know, as I click on submit, it will take me to a payment gateway. That's it. That's it. You make your payment and then you're good to go yeah so that's it guys i think that it's uh, i was thorough i hope i was thorough.